Chip Builders is the one which is lower after reporting a weak fourth quarter performance. So both the EBITDA as well as the margins of the company contracted. Vivek joins in with more details. Vivek. Well, uh, well, that's ahead, right. Vivek. So when you're talking about uh, garden reach ship builders, you know, what's actually happened is that it's the changing order mix that's actually been the concern. Now, along with, you know, other shipbuilding companies, you know, it's a bit of a concern for these companies given the fact that the changing order mix, you know, impacts the margins as well as, you know, the future order outlook. Now, talk about the numbers itself, Garden Reach, uh, while revenues were higher by close to 10.5% on a year-on-year basis, the EBITDA has fallen almost 40%, 37.5% to be precise, and margins to have contracted over 240 basis points. Uh, profitability higher by 17%, mainly aided by much higher other income this time around. Uh, also, the company, along with the results, also said that it's received an order to supply 10 naval uh, surface guns at a little over 240 crores. Now, Antique has come out with a report, you know, on the company post uh, the slightly muted set of results. What they're saying is that uh, the key concern on the company is over the volatility of the margin performance. And what they're saying is that this time around, margins have been impacted by the company's decision to go ahead and, and do a purchase of base and depot spares. Now, this is one particular segment of the business where the margins are very low. And, you know, the company is forced to do it on the back of the fact that it has to go ahead and do maintenance for the earlier received orders. Uh, however, what they say is that they foresee the company clocking 4,400 crore worth of revenues in FY24 and almost 4,700 crore of revenue as far as FY25 is concerned. So they continue to maintain a positive buy stance on the company. Okay, that is on Garden Reach Shipbuilders uh, declining.